Hello everybody, today we're going to show you how to grow and eat some sprouts from this chana dal. The English name is chickpeas. We're going to store them for some while in a little bit of dark place with after giving a little bit of water. So I'm going to put this in the corner of the kitchen where we dry all the clothes and everything. So every day we're gonna change the clothes and um, wash it with water and after three days it grows like this. This is around half an inch of roots um, growing. So um, I think this is fine. So yeah, after checking it is not molded and everything, we just um, put it in the same place. And after around 10 days, um, look at this, around one inch of sprouts is growing and actually this is already quite a nice snack so we can eat this directly but this time we'll, let's cook some um, fries with this if you are in a diet or something and concerned of um, oil then you just um, eat it directly as a snack it must be um, quite nice for your health and everything so first what we do to cook this is um, just um, put the pan on fire and put some oil and jeera inside and after the jeera is um, getting a little bit into dark color just add the chopped um, onion and tomato we have to follow all these orders of adding the vegetables because um if the if we didn't um, follow these orders um it will not make the correct nice taste actually we have to put in all the jeera and um, onion quite in the beginning and um the sprouts in the later half after some while we just um put in some green chili actually my wife loves all the foods with um green chili so as usual today we're going to add some green chili again and put it on fire and mix it for some while and during the vegetables are getting cooked we're going to wash the the sprouts and after washing the sprouts you just put it in the pan with all the vegetables and you have to cook it and mix it for some while and um, you have to do this a little bit of a long time because sprouts are quite thick and this bean is also quite thick so it has to be heated up nicely to make it a little bit softer and easy to eat and while cooking and mixing you just have to constantly sometimes pick up the sprouts and taste it and feel how hard it is and what the taste is and if you feel some taste is missing you can add those accordingly and after some while you have to add a little bit of salt like this and this time we're going to add a little bit of black pepper also so this is gonna add some nice smell in the taste and after adding it just let's just um, stir it and heat it up a little bit more while so as for the taste it is quite free to add any kind of seasoning so you can just add any kind of soy sauce or any kind of um, indian masala or anything if you as you wish and this goes well with any kind of um, western kind of food or chinese kind of food or japanese kind of food any kind of food so this time we're going to mix the Indian taste and the Japanese taste. So first here we're going to add a little bit of Japanese rice wine. So this is to make this food sweet and mild and with nice smell. And after the rice wine you can add the soy sauce. And it's quite salty so you have to take care not to add too much. I think um, this one is like um, 1 teaspoon or 2 teaspoon. And after that you can just um, stir it nicely and heat it up again to make the all the vegetables absorb the nice taste so this chana dal is quite thick and big and it takes quite much time so meanwhile we're gonna make the chai this chai is like um, adding the tea leaves and sugar and water and after the tea is ready we just add the milk and it's the typical nice indian chai and after waiting for some while the chickpea is gonna be ready so let's see how the taste is actually this is quite rich in protein and some other nice electrolytes so i hope you enjoy this taste and all the nice nutrition so please try it at home